Breaking news, breaking news. It's impossible. Breaking news in this Diddy Cassie videotape that's going around with the hotel situation. And this is not me saying this on Boss Talk Radio 101 or Boss Talk 101. Shout out to them. They're interviewing OG Blood or OG Pyru from California. I forget what his, I think Ayatollah Marv, I think his name is. He said, this is this joker saying this, that the reason why Diddy did all that inside the hotel room was because Cassie allegedly was trying to leave out of the hotel room with a hundred thousand dollars cash in his Rolex. Allegedly, you know, I, I don't. It, you heard it from me, but allegedly, uh, from New York, some people close to to Diddy. This is 2016 when he first started dealing with uh, the lady, and allegedly he was in the shower. When he came out, of yeah, 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 because he was. It was a towel wrapped around him. It, and allegedly, he was in the shower. She got dressed. He came out of. He came out of the, out of the shower. She was gone. His Rolex had a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. You said Rolex. I, allegedly, his Rolex and a hundred thousand dollars was gone. So that's why he grabbed the bag. Now, I ain't gonna lie, when I sat there and watched this video again, through that filter of thinking about that, I could imagine how this can be. If you see her first leaving, the first thing is her leaving with a hoodie on. She got the hoodie on and like really trying to cover her face when she first walks out with them bags, when she goes to the elevator, looking like a burglar. I'm just saying, if you look at it through that scope, you can I can kind of visualize that. He comes running out with his towel on, which kind of says that if she's in there, why would she be dragged? I guess maybe she was saying he was asleep or whatever he was doing. But for her to leave out of there fully dressed with him not dressed at all does say she was sneaking out of there. But if he was beating her, that would make sense that she was trying to sneak out of there. But if he was in the shower and she tried to run up out of there when he was in the shower, that kind of looks like it. Then you see when he grabbed the bags, the first thing he did was took the bags back to the room. He tried to pull her at first, he couldn't bring her back, but he walked away and secured the bag and put the bag back into the room, then walked back out there to deal with her. So she could have easily ran down the steps or anything when he took the bag back. He was worried about the bag because allegedly his money and his Rolex was in that bag. She was trying to walk up out of there with the bag. Now don't get me wrong, I ain't, I'm not saying I condone none of that, but, and I totally get it, there's always gonna be certain people that say you should never put your hands on a female, all that type of stuff, don't ever, but if a person you catch somebody in the act of stealing a hundred thousand dollars, you may just flip out and whoop down on them. I'm just saying this is something that I'm not, I'm not here to defend this boy or none of that. I'm just saying this is what could happen. When you look at it through that scope, it does kind of change the magnitude for me. I ain't saying for whoever. I'm just saying for me. You know what I'm saying? Still, yeah, you don't beat a woman, all this type of stuff, whatever people say. People from the hood, we have seen shit like this. We've seen people beat girls before. Not saying it's right or wrong, but... I'm not going to sit here and pretend this is the worst thing I ever saw in the world. It's bad. Definitely is bad. Especially if what I'm saying now, what I told him Marv said is not true, then definitely is still terrible. But what he said, I'm for myself, I'm looking at this thing like a little bit different than I did before I just heard that information. He said the information came from New York. I don't know. It could just be totally bogus or made up. But when you look at it through that filter, it, you can see that as the scenario if you allow yourself to, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's what he's saying. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what he said.